Good morning, guys. I am Patty Elhoff, the author of Upcycle with Decoupage. And that's also the name of my Facebook page and my website if you'd like to order any supplies. Today is the day that I almost scrapped a project for the first time and just in sheer frustration did not do it. <laughs> but I went ahead and forged through and here's what we'll be working on today. So this started out as one of those clear apothecary jars and I needed a place to put my cocoa that I use for my hot chocolate every day, sorry, for my latte. And I painted this clear glass with just regular old acrylic paint. I gave it a couple of coats and here I'm putting a ribbon. I'm actually decoupaging this ribbon trim right around the neck here. And I'm going to decoupage the napkin right on the surface here. So I'm just applying the decoupage glue. Now I want to separate this napkin. Just make sure I have the top layer and I'm going to place it down. And then I'm going to take my piece of saran wrap and I'm going to place it over top, pull it tightly and pull that down and make sure you press any wrinkles out that you might have. The decoupage glue dries pretty quickly and when it was dry, I filed these edges away. I then added another coat of decoupage glue and I put this aside to dry. And here's where I got into trouble. And this part's gonna fly by. I sponge painted one color on here. Didn't like it, so I added another color on. Again, I didn't like it. And this thing just kept getting uglier and uglier. And this took all of a couple of hours to make it this ugly as I waited for things to dry. So I painted over it using the original color that I started with and I used a roller to get a nice even surface and I was trying to get close to the label but I actually ran over the label so I had to decoupage on the opposite side of the jar. So I followed the same steps as earlier, put my decoupage glue down, the napkin, saran wrap, let it dry and now I'm adding a coat of decoupage glue over it. Then I put this aside to dry. While this was drying, I decided to make some butterflies with my coffee filters and I used embossing powder to firm them up a little bit. I'm going to be putting a couple of these on my jar. I ended up adding a little bit more embossing ink and then pouring some, this is tinsel glitter, over the top of it because I just wanted a little bit uh, more attention drawn to the butterflies. By the way, I'm using a bamboo skewer here to hold the butterfly down while I use the heat gun on it so I don't burn myself. <laughs> and once the jar was dry, I took some archival ink and I put it on a makeup sponge and I just wanted to go around the jar and highlight these edges here and just add some accents all over. And then I put this, well actually I did use the heat gun on this but you want to be careful. You, you don't want to melt that decoupage glue so I was really careful to just go over it lightly and quickly. You want to make sure you're using archival ink around this by the way because it is waterproof other inks will run. Now on the lid, I had already used a couple of different colors of the ink and I'm tying two different bows here that kind of accented my napkin. And I had already put a high gloss spray top coat over this, which I'll be doing to the bottom. But I just wanted to take care of the lid first, the top. And I added this bauble on it using E6000 glue, which will hold it forever. I do know that from experience. And you can find these baubles either in your jewelry box or you can go to the craft store and find a lot of them in that jewelry section. 
And while that's drying, I'm just going to put my cocoa powder in a plastic bag that will go inside of the jar. Now I took this into our basement to spray this Mod Podge gloss sealer. It's a clear sealer and while it was wet I applied this mica over top of it. I couldn't do this outside. I would have shown you if I went outside but it's about nine degrees out and I didn't want the camera out there or I didn't want myself out there really. So. Uh, this is dried now, and I'm putting some embellishments on here that I found in the scrapbook section. These already have adhesive on them, and I know from using them in the past, these also stay on forever. And I wanted to show you this in a different light because it actually looks prettier than what... There's too much glare right here, so I'm changing the light a little bit so you can see how it looks. By the way, I also hung my butterflies over a bamboo skewer so that they dried with a little bit of shape to them. And I'm just going to use some hot glue and put them in a couple of places on my jar. You guys know I've been in my butterfly phase. I'm probably trying to bring the spring on a little bit. <laughs> Now everything is dry, I can put my lid on. I'll actually add that chocolate inside once I'm all done here. But I'm actually so happy that I forged ahead and got this done because it was looking so ugly before. And I hope that I've just helped you know that we can all make mistakes and get so discouraged. I almost threw a temper tantrum like a two-year-old yesterday. <laughs> so uh, this is our project for this week. If you've got any questions, please feel free to ask me. You can check out my Facebook page if you go over there and like the page and click follow. Facebook will let you know when I have the new video out each week. And when you subscribe to my channel, YouTube lets you know that I have a new video out. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thanks for coming to my Facebook page. Comments are always welcome. I love being able to help you guys out. Thank you so much, you guys. I will see you next week with another video. Bye-bye.